Hello, welcome. Uh, we're going to find the approximate uh, fraction of each shaded region in each shape. So like my bad drawing here, the shaded regions that I've drawn in. So there are one, two, three shaded regions here. This whole region is shaded and then this triangle is shaded in. Out of the square that they're in, what is that fraction? So you might want to just pause the video, try it on your own, and then press play when you're ready to talk about it. All right, so let's do the first one here. We've got these triangles, and I notice that um, if I kind of just draw a line here and here, that's a fourth of my square, right? Because if I just extend those lines, I can see that it cuts the whole square into one, two, three, four pieces. And then I notice, well, each of the this fourth is cut in half. This is each of these triangles is a half of a fourth. That means it takes, if I just extend the line here, you can see it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles to fill the square. And that means that each triangle is one eighth of the total, right? So a half of a fourth is an eighth. So the, we have three triangles shaded in and each is one eighth. That means we've shaded in three eighths of the total square. Now this one's really tricky looking because you're not really sure maybe how to look at this, like the shaded region on a diagonal. But if you look at these white tri the unshaded regions, right, these white triangles here, the problem becomes a little bit more manageable. For example, you might notice that uh, if I take this triangle here, I just kind of highlight that, and double it, so two triangles, that's half the square. So if I took four of those triangles, one, two, three, four, that would fill up the whole thing. So that means that each of these, this triangle here is a fourth, and this triangle on this side, right, that's also a fourth. It's the same triangle turned on its side. That's a fourth. So I know already that um, half of the uh, square is not shaded in. And then we could figure out, I'm going to clear this off, what this little triangle represents, right? So here's a fourth here. Here's a fourth. So what's this little triangle? Well, if I draw a line here, right, and here, right, I get this a fourth of the whole square. It's just like this over here. This is the same size triangle. So this little triangle is the same size as the one in the first diagram. It's an eighth of the total. So this little triangle is an eighth. So I notice if I take the full square, the full area of one, and I take away a fourth and a fourth and an eighth, what's left over is the shaded region. So two fourths is a half. So I know one minus a fourth minus a fourth is a half, right? Or I'll, I'll write a half like this. And now we're doing a half minus an eighth. Right, because the other little triangle is an eighth. So here to get these two manageable, to think about what a half minus an eighth would be, I might draw a picture, or um, I might um, I might scale up this fraction to do it. But since I'm using pictures, I'll just stick with that. So going back to the first diagram, let's use this. Imagine that um, we have half the square down here. This is half. That's a half. And we're taking away one of the triangles, which is, oops, the battery's running out one of the triangles, which is an eighth. So we take this whole half, and I take away one eighth, what's left? One, two, three triangles, or three eighths. So a, a half minus an eighth is three eighths, and that is what the shaded region equals, right? Then the last one here, this is a tricky looking one, let's draw a line across, get a sense of what's going on, and then a line up and down here. Okay, now I feel a little bit better about this. So first of all, I've got Check my battery power. First of all, over here, this triangle is a half of a fourth. So this triangle right here is one eighth. And this triangle is one eighth. And this triangle, well, if I kind of just draw three more of those, one, two, three, four, this is a fourth of a fourth. It's a sixteenth. Right? And here, right, this is like the opposite of this one. Everything shaded in but a sixteenth. So we can say that this one, one, two, three sixteenth are shaded in. So that's my shaded, my total region. Now I can think of an eighth as two sixteenths. These triangles, you can see there's one, two of them. Each of these small triangles is a sixteenth. Here's one sixteenth. Here's another, it's two sixteenth. This is also two sixteenths. Now, all right, so now let's add these. We have two plus three is five six, seven, eight. Look at this, I wrote eight, seven sixteenths, sorry. 
this is 8 sixteenths. So now we just need to add up all these parts, and 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2, that's 8. This is 8 sixteenths, or 1 half. And I'm sure there's easier ways to look at it, but I just broke it down into pieces and then rebuilt it. All right, I hope this helps.